Hey everyone, and welcome back. It is Paul here, bringing you part two slash episode two of the Ratchet and Clank 1 HD remake on the PlayStation 3. And pretty much, we are now on planet Novalis. Novalis? And pretty much, we've got to go down here now. So let's go ahead and go down here. We did explore a little cave last episode, and we completed the level where you're on Ratchet's home planet. So pretty much, we've now flown to a different planets aren't in search of... I've forgotten his name! Why have I forgotten his name? Sorry, um... I just need to actually get back. Anyway, if you didn't check it out, go ahead and check it out. Really recommend that. But this is going to be a lot more combat intensive. We're going to have a lot more combat. As you guys can see, there's a lot of enemies in this land. So, which is going to mean a lot more fighting. Which is all always good, but it's always quite bad sometimes, as you do not want to get hit and lose any hit points as much as you can, so sorry, I was just kind of pausing, thinking one of these was going to come around the corner. Uh, let's qu quickly out my glove bomb, bomb glove, sorry, and quickly get the bomb there. Fuck all these guys out. Thank you. So, bomb. Ow, oh gosh, I got hit. So you only have hit four hit points to start off with. So you guys can see at the top, I just lost one. It's kind of sad, but it doesn't matter. We can obviously try and find a health Regen. Oh, there we go. We already have one right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick this up here. We can try and pick up as many bolts as we can. Just go back a bit. Just pick up all the ones we have missed. There we go. And we did actually miss that one just there. Those few boxes. Go back and get these boxes here. As pretty much bolts are very vital in this game, so you need it for pretty much everything. You need to buy all your new weapons and everything pretty much, just power up, not power ups, but new upgrades. So you need it for everything, so make sure we get as much as we can. So, um, got a glove back out, get him, there we go. This guy's in a bit of a worse position, kind of. Got him. No, I didn't. Ooh, that didn't actually kill him for some reason. Explosion really should have took him out, but that should take him out. There we go. Explode that corner. Just save ourselves some time of destroying the box. And we just reply ship with the three bombs of ammo, but oh no. Okay. So pretty much, I think I should probably knit down before we go on, and just make sure we haven't missed out on anything. As you can see, we did actually miss out on these, but did we miss out on anything more very important? We did miss out on this. What is this? Um, I want to go up that stream. I mean, we can swim, can't we, in this game? Um, no. Let me go up, Ratchet. It's so very hard to swim in this game. It's one of the probably worst points about it, really. No, but there's nothing down that way. So you can't even get down that way. It's quite a struggle, so... If you guys ever see me struggling and trying to swim on this game, then you just feel my pain. Because it's just horrendously hard to swim. And I... I, I probably do get quite frustrated, so sorry if I do get quite angry when it comes to me swimming in this game. Um, him. Luckily their range is very small, so they cannot hit us. And, of course, pick up that. A lot more glove ammo. I'm just going to call it glove, because I, uh, I'm just calling it glove now, so I may as well just keep calling it glove rather than bomb glove ammo. Just shut it down to glove. Okay. Even over here. Yep, some boxes. Anything here? Nope, nothing really that special, is there? Nope. Can I go into first person, please? Nope, nothing really special here. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Just finish off by picking up all these bots here. We'll carry on moving on. We've got nearly 4,000, well, 3,500 
so but we're doing pretty well on bolts, I should say. Hopefully we will be able to get the flamethrower very, very soon. That we did see at the end of last episode. If you didn't see it, go check out check it out. Don't really get to see much of it, we just got to see the image, but you can tell from the name, it's a flamethrower. And anyway, just quickly get all of these. There we go. And a lot more bolts for us. Kind of moving down onto this plane. That's exactly why it's a plane, so this ship can land. Is it going to open up? Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. <laughs> what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Gadgetron infobots give you coordinates for new planets. You should press the select button to bring the map and the your ship. It's marked with a star. Okay, so now we've got a ship. So that's pretty awesome. So we can actually get off this planet now. Have we got any more tasks left on this planet, though? Um, let's see, view missions. Explore the waterworks. I'd done that last episode, uh, but there was nothing there. So it looks like we'll have to go and explore it again, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure we searched it and there was absolutely nothing there. We just went all around it. There was just some bolts and that was really it. We went, done a full loop, really. So it looks like we'll have to do it again because it, for some reason it says there is something there suddenly now, so. Anyway, let's go ahead and go this way. Don't need any more health, so we're fine on that. Now let's go back up there with our hook. Do we need any more bombs? No. Okay. Fine, let's go back up. So we'll go explore the waterworks now, so we don't have to come back, really. Um, oh no, we didn't explore the waterworks, we went the other way. Okay, so let's actually buy the flamethrower. We can buy, what is it called? The Pryro Sector? Okay, anyway, let's just buy it, and uh, just buy, how much ammo can we get for it? 120, there we go, maxed out, okay, awesome, so let's check it out, there we go, wow, it's pretty big, it's bigger than Ratchet's body, kind of, um, but let's see it, uh, I'm not going to try it out, actually, yeah, I'm going to try out on the next enemies we find, okay, um, uh, the water would, would that? Yeah, it would push me back down, wouldn't it? So, anyway, let's get it straight across. I nearly failed the first jump there. There we go. So the flamethrower is pretty powerful against them. It seems to take them out in just pretty much one hit, as they only do have one HP. So, they only have one hit point, so that's that's exactly why. So when we get to more, some more brutal en enemies, such as the ones we were finding outside, then we'll see how fast it kills them. Let's see, let's try it out on these guys. Okay, so it takes them out pretty fast. It's pretty good. The glove bomb does actually kill them a lot faster and a lot easier, but... You know, this is actually pretty good, and it's just, to be honest, a lot easier to use, really. You don't have to aim it. 
So that, that will, this will come in pretty handy, I think. Just wait for this to go up. There we go. Let's see how we, no, no more ammo. We don't need any more. Thank you very much. Did I just break that? Yeah, I did. Um, do I jump? What do I jump up here for? Not sure what I jump up there for, really. Is there a reason for me to do that? Nope. I'm just doing that for no apparent reason, really. And it just jumped me up against it. Such skill. By accident. Uh, oh no, come on, can I get onto it please? Don't want to jump against it, no. Okay, let's just jump across anyway, we'll just see what it is when we get- oh gosh. What do we do, guys? I can't get up here. So it says go up here. Oh, it forces me off it. I can't actually get on it. There we go. We're actually on it now. So where are we meant to go? Up. Oh, where, where do we go up to though? Um, so with that, I'm guessing we may have to do this. Or the water core in there. There we go, okay. And let's go around this way. These few little boxes just to get a few extra bolts. Now we're here. We've just bought our new incendiary gun. But I can't actually say, because I just can't say it. Just I just really am bad at pronouncing things. So let's go up here. There we go. So there's nothing that special in the waterworks really, so hopefully there will be something a bit more special. Maybe a new weapon, maybe at the end of this? Never know. So let's just see. Dad, blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. Alright, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking! The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. How much 500 bolts go on that? Slide down a sewer pipe? Yes, yeah, so let's see what this infobot's got for us. Mayday. This is the solar ship radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Okay, so that's our info bot for the next planet. Well, for another planet, I should say, actually, because we've already got the coordinates to planet that we'll need to go to Metropolis. So with that's our second planet, let's just get that. Let's just have a quick little look. And let's see, does it say next map? See we've got Metropolis. And Outpost X11. So that's the one that we just got there. Let's just quickly stop that one. <laughs> that was completely by accident, sorry guys. And let's go down here and just get these bolts. We just spent 500 getting that info bolt, but obviously we had to buy it to continue on to complete the game. Anyway, let's jump down the sewer pipe. Ah, this ratchet doesn't want to anyway. Like so. And we're back to the entrance, so we can actually fly away now. Let's just quickly, are we full on armor? Maxed out, and maxed out. Shut, dude. 
He was pretty awesome. Oh, anyway, enter our ship. Trust to start up. And let's see where we want to go. So we can either go to 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 to, to Metropolis or Outpost X11. Let's. I think we should go to Metropolis because Outpost X11 sounds like sort of a detour. Sounds like a secondary mission. Nice. So let's go to Metropolis first of all and visit Al's Robo Shack. I love these loading sequences, it's, I, I don't know, it's just something, it reminds me of Star Wars Battlefront loading, it's pretty awesome, I love them a lot. Okay, so now we are in Metro Metropolis and it looks absolutely stunning, I have to admit. Now, for some reason, I start to remember this. I'm not sure. I, I do really remember this, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to say anything until I, until I definitely do, because I'm not sure about it, really. But we will have to explore Metropolis in the next episode. Go away, help info thing. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and a comment. Also, share if you wish. I nearly fell off the edge. Um, so anyway, guys, if you subscribe, that means a lot. And you'll be kept up to date with all my most recent videos. And that will just be awesome. So you guys can check them out, support the rest of my videos, and enjoy them. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And check out next episode where we explore Metropolis and go to Al's Robo Shack. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Once again, from me, Paul.